So let's go ahead and see how smart the program Friday thinks it is. Friday, can you write me an essay? Sure, what topic would you like me to write about? In this video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I created an AI program that I named Friday. I was gonna use Jarvis, but with my microphone, it wasn't able to pick up Jarvis very clearly, so I named it Friday. It's able to catch this word every single time. And so the way we're gonna run this AI program is we're going to upload it onto our Raspberry Pi. We have our battery pack. We have our screen right here. I can put on these glasses, and my little screen is right here so I can see what the program is doing. I am able to give it audio commands through a lapel mic, and I I have in AirPods and I'm able to hear its respond and I'm able to actually communicate and talk with this AI program. Go ahead and check out the code that I used in order to get this AI hacking system to work. It is actually really simple and really short. If you're wanting all of the code that actually goes inside of like this script right here and the other scripts that I have saved locally on my computer, if this video gets to 10,000 likes, I will release all of the code that I use for my automated hacking. So if you'd like to get those scripts, you can go ahead and hit the like button. But for now, let's check out this code. So the first thing I want to show you is that we have to import a lot. One of the ones that you're going to notice right away is we're going to be using OpenAI. This is going to be really important because that is what's going to give us our AI system that we can actually talk to and carry on that conversation with. If I tell the program I want to stop, I needed this open string with this global variable so that if I say stop, it'll actually kill this while loop. If I say attack Yahoo, it's going to take Yahoo and it's going to put it into set the said to variable right here. It's going to tell the system, so my Kali Linux machine, to run nmap against yahoo.com. It will run amass and it'll pull down a bunch of different subdomains. And I actually ran secrets.py right here. It looks like this. We wrote this code earlier. Um, there is a lot of different code that I have saved inside of secrets.py with this amass is already in there. And so is nmap. I just put those in there so you can see you can run a, a bunch of different scripts if you wanted to within this one attack. So you can have vulnerability scanners like nmap, Nick Nessus and all the others. You can actually have it get subdomains through AMAS and you can have it scrape um, the interwebs, which is what secrets.py does. It'll go out and look for different passwords or API keys or anything that was leaked to the internet that should not be there. And then I would have access to those. If we say Friday, this is where it's going to go out to chat GTP and I can actually carry on that conversation with Friday. So if I ask it a question like, can you write me an essay? It will say, yes, I can. What essay would you like me to write? And I can say, I want a two page essay on the development of Europe. So all I have to do is open up the Raspberry Pi, start the program, and then I can unplug my keyboard, I can unplug my mouse, and then this while loop will run forever. And so if I'm having conversations with other people, it just won't trigger anything because I'm not actually calling any of these if statements inside of our function inside of our while loop. So it will just continually wait until until I say a trigger word and then it's going to do everything in here after I give it that trigger word. That is how it works. Let's go ahead and see an example of how it works here on my Mac. So let's go ahead and see how smart the program Friday thinks it is. Friday, can you write me an essay? Sure. What topic would you like me to write about? Friday, do you think you can write a better essay than I can? As an AI language model, I am always here to assist you in writing a better essay. We could collaborate on writing an essay by starting with a topic and outline on a document shared. Have you ever seen this clip where Peter Parker discovers Edith? Stand by for retinol and biometric scan. Or maybe this clip where Tony Stark is having a conversation with Freddy. Sokovia is going for a ride. For some of us out there, whenever we have to be away from our computers, we can really start to feel some anxiety. Maybe you have to go out and do the dishes. Nobody likes to do the dishes, but it has to be done and you can't be near your computer. Or maybe your mom tells you that you have to go outside and you need to go on a walk. And so you decide to take the one wheel because that's the closest thing you can get next to exercise. And then maybe your wife gets mad at you and tells you need to go out and mow the grass. All of these things can keep you away from your computer and you're not able to write any code, have any great conversations with your AI friend. And worst of all, you're not able to hack any websites. That's why I decided to create a Jarvis, which I named Friday. But for now, let's go ahead and check this out and see how it works. I actually forgot to mention, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will go ahead and give you my code and walk you through the process of actually how to go ahead and make your own AI and you'll be able to talk to it. I'll be able to throw my earbuds in and walk around. You'll be able to have a conversation with it anywhere you go. I will walk you through the process of how I made this and how you can too. But for now, let's go 
ahead and look at the parts. Okay, and for those skeptics out there who may not think that the actual hat is working, or my bot, or my AI bot is working, there is the Kali Linux machine turning on from my Raspberry Pi. And just so you can see, let's see if my hat will reach. I actually have it plugged into the wall right now and not the power supply. So let's see if I can wiggle it over here in view. You can see over here, if I could get it just a little further, that our lights are blinking and it is on. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to my desktop computer so that way I can do some screen recording so you can actually see the scripts run as we're gonna go ahead and run it and you'll be able to hear the AI working, you'll be able to hear me communicate with it. We're about to boot on the Raspberry Pi. Here's what it looks like as it is all hooked up to the monitor, this monitor over here, we're gonna boot it on. Um, a lot of these wires will be gone once we get it all set up. Like this will be gone, this will be gone, this will be gone. Uh, this is the keyboard, the power, the power cable, and the HDMI. We'll be able to get rid of all of those once we get it booted on. So let's go ahead and boot it on and let's see if the Kali Linux will come on. I'll let you guys see what this looks like and then I'll go ahead and flip you around. So there you are, you know that it works. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this open, check all the microphones and the earbuds to make sure it's working before I finish setting up the hat itself. I'm going to walk you guys through a demonstration of how this all works. But for now, the Raspberry Pi does not like to use the same device for both the audio and the microphone. So I can't actually use earbuds in order to get this to work. I'm gonna have to hook up a separate, a separate lapel mic with my earbuds in order to get this work. So I'm gonna do this right now with a regular mic like my Blue Yeti and see if we can get this to work. Then tomorrow when my lapel mic shows up, I will be ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and sort this out and see if I can figure this problem out. Okay, so now that we have everything set up and it's ready to go, let's go ahead and give it a command and let's see what this program can do. Friday, when is your birthday? I'm sorry, as an AI language model, I don't have a physical body, thus I don't have a birthday. Is there anything else I could assist you with? And now we can go ahead and test the attack command and we can tell it to attack a specific domain. And for this demonstration, we'll just go ahead and try yahoo.com and then I'll close out of it before anything actually starts to run on the program. Attack yahoo.com. And then I know you can't see that in this actual video. I'm gonna post the output to this like somewhere up in here as I have this screen recording. So you'll be able to see what is being put out in the terminal. Okay, this is what the final product looks like. I have my screen right here plugged in. It is. It has a little battery inside of it that will allow it to run. I have my HDMI cable, which runs up through the hat into the HDMI port on the Raspberry Pi. I have my lapel mic, which you can connect through a USB port and my AirPods, which are connected through Bluetooth. My Raspberry Pi didn't like me using the microphone inside the AirPods. That's why I have the lapel mic, which you can see right here working for me to give the commands to Friday and back. So let's go ahead and I'll show you exactly how all of this looks. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the screen right here, take off my glasses. So I got my glasses right here. They are hooked on. And if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll actually go ahead and upgrade this and make a version two. I think I can take this apart right here and I can take my handy dandy goggles that are right here and I can open this up and I could put this screen inside of these goggles like this and then you would never be able to see my screen that I have inside of here. But if we hit 10,000 likes, I'll release my code and I will make that update and we'll make a version two and maybe try and get rid of some of this mess up here. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we have going on. Gonna be some wires fall out on my head. So what we have is the white thing up here on the top is the battery pack and it has the power cable right here. So we got our power supply that runs up inside the hat. You can see all of my wires, my HDMI cable running through there. And then we have on the actual Raspberry Pi, my lapel mic, which is this USB port right here. I don't actually have it hooked up right here, but it'll run to right there. And I'm, I run it through my shirt, back through the back side of my head, up inside. And then there is a hole right back here on the hat, which I pop that out and it plugs right in. We have the power supply and the HDMI cable, and that is it. So when I wear this, 
it looks exactly like this with a couple of wires coming out the back right here one that goes out the back to the lapel mic and then one that goes to my camera so right there it is i have my ai that i can wear on the move and on the go and, and i can ask friday to do all sorts of things and all sorts of questions for me on the go and one thing i forgot to mention is i do have the raspberry pi right here hooked up to the hotspot on my phone and so everywhere i go i'm able to use that api key with open ai so friday works everywhere i go and i can even run those vulnerability scanners and those scripts that i have previously made on this channel so if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you want me to make something else in the future please let me know down in the comments and I'll try to get to those thanks for watching